Item Number SCP-4024 Level 4-4024 Classified Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures the area affected by SCP-4024 has been established as a no-entry zone. Its perimeter is monitored by a series of mobile outposts under the jurisdiction of Containment Area 43. These outposts are to move in accordance with the expansion of this perimeter. Personnel with Class C clearance and above are prohibited from making direct physical contact with SCP-4024. All personnel are to be reminded that voices and emotions experienced within the region are not real and should be ignored. Description: SCP-4024 is a saltwater spring located in the Gobi Desert and housed within a former Buddhist temple. When fully submerged within SCP-4024, objects and organisms undergo immediate displacement to an unknown location. Land in the immediate vicinity of SCP-4024 is characterized by severe desertification and the presence of dense fog. Despite its non-anomalous chemical composition, inhalation of the SCP-4024-generated fog causes minor emotional distress and auditory hallucinations in sentient organisms. The current radius of the area affected by SCP-4024 as of December 26, 2018 is approximately 98 kilometers and is expanding at an indeterminable rate. As proximity to its central point increases, SCP-4024's anomalous effects also increase in magnitude. Addendum 4024.1 Test Series 4024-01 Testing of the anomalous spatial displacement properties of SCP-4024's focal point commenced on July 30, 2018, under the supervision of Containment Area 43's Dr. Gambitar Tasakia and Senior Researcher Jonathan Halliman. Significant test results are noted below. Object 1. Pentel brand automatic pencil containing two sticks of 0.5mm lead. Status Irretrievable. Notes Object was spatially displaced to an unknown location upon moment of full submersion. Object 1. UVCKY19 model autonomous underwater drone. Status Irretrievable. Notes in addition to the spatial displacement of the physical object, all video and audio transmissions were also lost at the moment of full submersion. Object: One male domestic cat, Felis sylvestris catus. Tortoiseshell coat, right ear is torn. Status: Irretrievable. Notes: Spatial displacement occurs in living subjects in addition to inanimate objects. Addendum 4024.2 SCP-4024-1 Instances On October 24, 2018, the presumed death of senior researcher Jonathan Halliman and subsequent post-mortem investigation led to the discovery that direct contact with the liquid contents of SCP-4024 results in recurring anomalous dreams, hereafter designated SCP-4024-1. Halliman allegedly began experiencing SCP-4024-1 instances after accidental direct physical contact with the SCP-4024 focal point during testing series 4024-01 on July 30, 2018, but negligently withheld this information from official Foundation documentation for personal gain. Extensive documentation of the SCP-4024-1 instances was discovered in Halliman's personal research journal, with key findings excerpted below. August 3rd, 2018. Night after night of bizarre dreams. I can't seem to control my wandering. It's like my feet are moving on their own. I've lost track of the number of hours that I've spent wading directionless through this strange technicolor ocean, lost in the fog. The endless chatter of nonsense is so loud that I can barely hear myself think. The sensory overload makes my head hurt. Sometimes I see things that look like people, but they blink out of existence every time they get too close to me, and they can't see me. I don't think they're sapient, I don't even think they're sentient. This is utterly fascinating, truly the opportunity of a lifetime. There's an incredible breakthrough here, and I'm gonna get there first. August 30th, 2018. I've never been more excited in my life. It's incredible. The warrior in full battle regalia crossing blades with an invisible foe atop the Statue of Liberty. The hare that becomes a spider and scuttles across the bright red roof of a Ferrari and then becomes a leering man and slings himself into the driver's seat. The pregnant woman who twirls barefoot through rice stalks and washing machines over the surface of the churning waters. 
She blows a kiss and it transforms into a white dove and flies away. It's so obvious. They're archetypes. The hero, the trickster, the mother. What else could they be? I'm jumping to conclusions here, but I know that I'm right. And this is incredible. A dream come true. What academic mind wouldn't be thrilled to find themselves here at the seat of human consciousness? Researcher Halliman was placed on indefinite medical leave on September 11, 2018, due to his erratic behavior and rapidly declining mental health, at the time believed to be the result of his pre-existing depressive tendencies. On October 22, 2018, Researcher Halliman's application to return from medical leave was approved. His final recorded entry is excerpted below. October 21st, 2018. Hello, kitty cat. You're a sight for sore eyes. A trick that my subconscious is playing on me, or the irrefutable proof of my hypothesis. One male domestic cat, Felis Sylvestris Catus, with a tortoise shell coat and torn right ear. I watched you disappear beneath the salty water of that accursed spring, and now here you are, swimming like a fish through the fog in my dreams. My lighthouse in the shape of a cat. I finally understand. It's a gate. I know I'm right, but I can't be sure. It's a gate that's been leaking all this time, dripping an endless stream of sorrow from our psyche into reality. What happens if I go through it? The curiosity is killing me. A chance to stand within the embodiment of imagination, of the human mind. I have to go through and see for myself. Could I truly call myself a scientist if I didn't? This is my leap of faith. On October 24th, 2018, senior researcher Jonathan Halliman entered the SCP-4024 zone without authorization and submerged himself within SCP-4024. A week's worth of food supplies were later discovered missing from Containment Area 43's storage. Researcher Halliman is considered irretrievable and presumed dead. Addendum 4024.3 Information Breach Potential During a routine psychological evaluation on December 17, 2018, Dr. Gambitar Tasakia reported unusual dreams featuring the deceased researcher Halliman. A subsequent investigation into the matter revealed that Foundation-affiliated personnel worldwide had dreamed of a male matching researcher Halliman's physical and personal characteristics between October and December of 2018. On December 22, 2018, the short story, Spy on the Wall, published in a Ukrainian literary magazine on August 4, 2018 by Alexandra Olyanik, was brought to Foundation attention. The work described the precise Foundation-specific aquatic drone used in testing series 4024-01, including its name and a number of its internal functions. Olyanik had no prior knowledge of the Foundation. The relevant section is excerpted below. Blackjack knelt tensely by the side of the dock, watching the remote-operated undersea vehicle sink beneath the waves. The mob could be upon him at any moment, but he couldn't stop now. The mission was too important, and the UVCKY-19 was their only hope. Subsequent Foundation investigations additionally discovered pieces of media worldwide featuring a Jonathan Halliman, all published either on or after October 24th, 2018. These include a Chinese art house movie, a sculpture collection, and a series of British children's books. The following is excerpted from Stopping for a Spell, Hemlock Magician Book 4 by Whitney Blake, page 157. Go now, my apprentice. Wizard Halliman shuddered. The poisonous green crystals were rapidly encasing his torso, but his dark eyes shone fever bright with triumph. You must be my voice. Run as fast as your legs can carry you. You must deliver my message to- But what about you? Cried Elsabeth. I can't just leave you here. It does not matter, croaked the old wizard. Our mission is more important. You must find Sullivan Cornelius Pendragon of the 43rd Chamber, and you must tell him- <coughs> Halliman broke off with a wheeze. At his feet, his familiar mewled sadly. The tortoiseshell tomcat pawed desperately at its master's crystalline prison, but it could not slow down the relentless encroach of the Dark Elves' terrible curse. Tell him what? Elsabeth wiped desperately at her face, trying to hold back her tears. 
Tell him what we discovered, Hallaman wheezed. Tell him about the gate and the way that we crossed through to another realm. Tell him that I was right all along. Swear it, Elsabeth. I swear, whispered Elsabeth, but it was too late. The crystals had reached Hallaman's face and he was lost to the world. As of December 26, 2018, all items used in submersion testing with SCP-4024 must be submitted for approval by the Director of Containment Area 43 due to the potential for further information security breaches. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.